Hydrosol, from Hydrocrop, is an advanced two-part dry powder hydroponic nutrient containing everything that plants need to thrive without soil. Hydrosol can be used in any type of hydroponic system, either completely medialis or with an inert media or cococoya. In this video we are going to demonstrate how to use the Hydrosol A and B dry mixes to prepare the concentrated stock solutions, and then how to use those stock solutions to produce the feed strength nutrient solution for your plants. The Hydrosol dry mixes, like all concentrated fertilizers, can cause skin irritation and severe eye irritation. We recommend wearing protective gloves, a face mask and eye protection when preparing the stock solutions. You will need two separate plastic containers in which to prepare the stock solutions. The containers should be opaque. If clear containers are used, sunlight will encourage microbial growth in the nutrient-rich liquid. The containers should hold more than your initial liquid volume, since the liquid volume will increase when the dry nutrients are added. In this demonstration we are using 2.5 litre containers and 2 litres of water. Either tap water or return osmosis filtered water can be used for both the stock solutions and the plant feed solution. If you intend to dose your feed reservoir with a measuring syringe, it is advisable to prepare the stock solutions in lidded buckets such as these. If you will be dosing your reservoir using a measuring beaker, you will find pourable containers, such as these, more convenient. You can measure your water volume with a measuring jug, but since one milliliter of water weighs one gram, so there are 1000 grams to a liter, it is easy to just weigh the water into the container using kitchen scales. It is best to use lukewarm water, somewhere between 35 and 40 degrees centigrade, as this will make the hydrosol nutrients dissolve more quickly. A lukewarm water temperature can be easily achieved by mixing one part boiling water with two parts of cold water. Start by measuring out the water, here we are using 2 liters. We place the container on the scales, zero the reading, then weigh in 2000 grams of water. The hydrosol nutrients need to be added to the water at a rate of 100 grams per liter, so we zero the scales again then carefully pour in 200 grams of hydrosol A. The solution then needs to be stirred for 2 to 3 minutes until the nutrients dissolve. The liquid will be cloudy at first but will gradually clear. When the hydrosol dry mix has fully dissolved, place a lid on the container and ensure that it is clearly labeled hydrosol A stock solution. Now we repeat the process, using a separate container, to make the hydrosol B stock solution. The Hydrosol B solution is a golden brown color. The Hydrosol B dry mix will take a little longer to dissolve than Hydrosol A, but only a couple of minutes. Again it will be cloudy at first, but will gradually clear as the nutrient salts dissolve. If you are using a pourable container to make your stock solutions, follow the same procedure as we have demonstrated here but instead of stirring the solution, screw the cap onto the container then shake the container until the nutrients are dissolved. Now we are going to use the two hydrosol stock solutions to prepare the feed strength nutrient solution for the plants. In this demonstration we are using a 20 liter container to simulate the hydroponic system reservoir. After filling the container with 20 liters of cold water, we need to add measured volumes of the two hydrosol stock solutions. How much stock solution you need to add depends on how concentrated you want your feed solution to be, but the dose should be between 5 and 10 milliliter of hydrosol A stock solution per liter of water and the same of the hydrosol B stock solution. 
Here we are going to add 170 milliliters of each stock solution to produce a feed solution with an EC value of approximately 1.8 mscm. A feed solution with an EC of approximately 1.8 mscm is a good general purpose concentration, suitable for growing a wide range of mature plants. Be sure to rinse the dosing syringe or measuring beaker with plain water before switching from one stock solution to the other. It is advisable to use an EC meter to check the feed solution and add the stock solutions gradually, stirring between doses, until the desired EC value is achieved. After mixing your feed solution, you need to check the pH of the solution and adjust it to between 5.6 and 6.4, as values outside of this range will adversely affect plant nutrient uptake and may also cause precipitation of the nutrients in the feed solution. Hydrosol is buffered to help keep the feed solution pH stable, so after the correct pH has been initially set there should be little need for ongoing pH maintenance. We hope you have found this demonstration useful and informative. Thank you for watching, and we wish you happy growing.